Hey yo guys, what is up? I hope you're having an awesome day. So today I just want to talk about why Forza Horizon 3 was the end of a very special era. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first off, Horizon 3 was the last Horizon title to have abundant modern elements in its map. In Forza Horizon 3 and even before this game, Forza Horizon maps were always modern and up to date. After Forza Horizon 3 though, the modern elements in Forza Horizon games have become less and less abundant. They've switched to this old and ancient stuff, which I just don't understand. Forza Horizon 3 has a more modern map than 4 and 5 combined. I don't know how we've gone backwards in the span of 5 years. I say 5 years because Forza Horizon 3 released in 2016 and Horizon 5 was in 2021. Horizon 3 was also the last Horizon game to have creative, original ideas. After Forza Horizon 3, Everything became a copy and paste game. I mean, Forza Horizon 4 and 5's template is a copy and paste from 3, Fortune Island was a revamped Storm Island with a couple of new features, and Lego was a failed different theme but also similar concept in a way, and then there is Hot Wheels 2.0 and Forza Horizon 5. The cars handle similarly to Forza Horizon 3 and everything. The veterans who have played Forza Horizon 3 know what I am talking about, Forza Horizon 5's engine is straight out of 2016, and so is Forza Horizon 4. Forza Horizon 3 was also the last Horizon title to be ready for launch. Forza Horizon 4 and 5 were not ready for launch, and we know this. Too many bugs and glitches. Some were never fixed from day one of Forza Horizon 4, and some have yet to be fixed from day one of Forza Horizon 5. The end of quality EDM music also followed after Forza Horizon 3 was then followed up by Forza Horizon 4. Music in Forza Horizon games has just been getting worse and worse after Forza Horizon 3. We had some absolute bangers in the first three games, like what happened to this taste in music that Playground games suddenly forgot about? Forza Horizon 4 and 5s are just so dead, uninspired, and bland, so repetitive, so boring, I can't stand it. EDM music is important in Forza Horizon because it used to be a franchise based on car culture and music festivals, and it just brings out the best in the game and makes memories form easier. It also just symbolizes more freedom, I feel like. Forza Horizon 3 was also the last Forza Horizon game to have that summer theme that it originated from. From 2012 to 2016, the Forza Horizon games were centered around a summer-themed festival event. The summer theme made these games feel so magical and so perfect with the music that it felt like a dream. Forza Horizon 4 introduced Seasons, which actually did change the map quite a bit, but people complained about it in the heyday of the game. Forza Horizon 5 got rid of the dramatic Seasons, people saw that, and now they miss it and want it back. Like seriously, the Forza community is so bipolar, like just make up your mind. The summer theme is superior though, and I really do miss that. That was probably one of my favorite things about the Forza Horizon games from 1 to 3. Forza Horizon 3 was also the last game to have effort being put in consistently. FH4 and 5 were just lazily put together, and their failure to address the big needs that the community want to see in these games killed these games off. It took us until 2021 to get the 2018 Lamborghini Aventador SVJ in Forza Horizon 5. They didn't even put it in 4, and by the time we did, it wasn't even the latest and greatest. People wanted it in Forza Horizon 4. Denied. There was so much effort being put into FH1 through 3 because they were still building their audience. Now that they've done that, they've been slacking, making people very disappointed and angry. Horizons 1 through 3 also had quality sunsets. 4 was the end of that. 4 slacked with that part of the game, and they tried to bring it back in Forza Horizon 5, and they kinda did, but the only problem is the lighting is just so dry that paint jobs of certain colors look faded, and the sunsets just aren't there either. They don't hit the same anymore. They're just dry. They're better than 4's, but Forza Horizon 3 had the best ones, no doubt. Forza Horizon 2's were fantastic. Even FH1's was pretty decent, too but 4 and 5, just not cutting it. Horizon 3 was the last game to not constantly need life support through monthly updates like in 4 and 5. 4 and 5 started doing these monthly updates mainly to fix issues in the games that should have been ready for launch. It was supposed to add new content, which they added more new content through most of the updates in Horizon 4 than 5, no doubt. Forza Horizon 5 has themed updates to keep the game alive because they know in their minds that they don't want to make a quality product at launch, which I simply don't understand because it would save them more time, more money, more resources, more of everything. 
that they could actually focus on other things, and they also don't have to do much to it after launch. It's not a game that constantly needs life support, because they're lazy and this is obvious. The car sound started off great at launch in Forza Horizon 5. That was one of the biggest upgrades from 4 to 5, because they were awful in 4. Then people started to notice the copying and pasting of car sounds happening again in Forza Horizon 5 after months of being out. Forza Horizon games used to have to launch flawlessly with minimal issues. Now not just with Forza, but with other games too. It just seems to be the new standard to make games that are not ready for launch, just so that they can fix issues later on because they're lazy and to keep people coming back to the games, ultimately earning these companies more money. It's manipulation, man. It didn't used to be this way and it isn't going to change. The games used to launch where they didn't need life support constantly to keep the game alive because the games were engaging enough that they didn't need to, because they knew what they were doing before they made Forza Horizon 4. Horizon 3 was the last Horizon game to have an exotic location. Forza Horizon 1 was set in Colorado, which isn't exactly an exotic location, but with everything else that the game had going for it, with the campaign and the capturing of American car culture being strong in this game, this could be looked past. FH2 and 3 had exotic locations through southern France and northern Italy for Forza Horizon 2, which was just beautiful, and Australia in Forza Horizon 3, which was so amazing. Even though the developers of Forza Horizon 5 like to argue that Forza Horizon 5 is the most diverse map they've ever made, it's really not. It's Horizon 3. It's not even close. They were fantastic locations because the scenery and the freedom both possessed in these games made them feel like a dream and not real at all. Truly a magical era. Forza Horizon 4 and 5 seem to be set in areas of the world, at least captured by these games, that look to be in ruin or on the decline, like they're so old. And lastly, Forza Horizon 3 was the last Horizon game to have proper progression. Horizon 3's system of progression was different from the previous two games at the time, that doesn't mean it wasn't good though, because it was executed very nicely. Being the festival boss, building up the festivals in Horizon Australia felt like a grind and was so motivating and enjoyable to play through. Forza Horizon 4 had no progression, and Horizon 5 had a failed attempt at progression, but there may be some hope for the future with what we saw in the Horizon 5 Hot Wheels expansion. And that is why Forza Horizon 3 is the end of a very special era in Horizon history. While we're on the topic of special eras in Horizon history, tomorrow my 10 year anniversary of Forza Horizon will be out, so I hope you guys enjoy that one as well as this video. So yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, join the discords, link in description, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.